are trying to kill time when being stuck at home, here's one tip for you. Finish a jigsaw puzzle. I pulled out my 1000 piece puzzle and started working on them the other day. And today, when I look at my half finished puzzle, I realize that even though not all the pieces are in place, I can still predict the whole picture in my mind. My brain uses what it sees, fills in the missing pieces, and predicts the whole picture. This is a process we call interpolation and extrapolation. So what are they exactly? Let me use a simpler example. Here, I have three numbers, one, two, and three. Interpolation means to estimate the numbers between one and two, or two and three. And the extrapolation means to guess the number before one or after three. Interpolation and extrapolation are used in every part of our life. Like right now, why we cannot go out like we usually do? Because looking at the number of confirmed cases with coronavirus every day, the health experts extrapolate the data sets and predict the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic will not disappear overnight. And practicing social distancing is still very important. Interpolation and extrapolation are also used with geological data sets, which are very much like the pieces of a massive jigsaw puzzle, the Earth. In the mining and energy industry, companies use this kind of data sets and predict how much resource is there. The accuracy of the prediction affects the revenue by billions of dollars. Sometimes they decide to get more data to improve the prediction. So where should the data be? Where should they be if they're worth 1 million each and takes more than three months to get? My research gives the answer. If you can have extra data that are extremely expensive and time consuming, always, always locate them as far away as possible from the existing ones, because this will give us the most accurate prediction. This is what I learned from finishing a puzzle. It's more than just a way of killing time. It's about the revenue of a company, the future of public health, and I believe so much more. Thank you.